Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we are looking at how you're going to be using your cards with your different sources and evidence to help Mr. Gibbs make a decision about whether or not we should be purchasing the Edu Swivel Chair or not. So, in order to help Mr. Gibbs, we will have to decide between two possible claims for our Edu Swivel Chair. The claims are claim number one. The Ed Useful Chair will capture enough energy to power uh, our school's small devices like our Chromebooks and such. And claim two, the Ed Useful Chair will not capture enough energy to power uh, our school's small electronic devices, again, similar to our Chromebooks and such. To decide which of these claims, claim one and claim two, is best, we need to look at which of them is better supported by reliable sources and their reliable evidence. To do that, we're not only going to be sorting cards by reliability today, but also by which claim they support. So, for example, we have card A here. It says a commercial paid for by the Ed U Swivel Energy. It says that students who use the Ed U Swivel Chair create enough energy to power an entire school. Now, obviously, if we're looking at this card, if the chair has enough energy to power the entire school, it would have enough energy to power small electronics devices. So obviously this card would go with claim number one. But just because it goes with claim one, number one doesn't necessarily mean that claim one is the best supported by evidence. We have to look at its reliability. So not only which claim does it support, but how reliable it is. To do that, you're first going to place the cards in order of their sources and their reliability. So for example, I have card A through H here, and let's pretend you put these in order of reliability. So A would be the most reliable, H would be the least reliable. Second, you're gonna place the two claims on opposite sides of your line of reliable and unreliable cards and sources so that you can begin deciding which one they fall under in terms of supporting which of those claims. Remember, claim one was yes, we should buy because it charges all the devices and claim two is it does not so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go card by card choosing and picking each one and explaining which of the claims it supports based on the evidence it has now okay so for example claim or letter a we said went with claim one so for card a we would then slide that underneath the claim that it supports as you see there so that you can not only see how reliable it is compared to the others below it, but also now which claim it supports. And you'll do that for all the cards based on the conversations you have and which ones you feel it does and does not support. Okay, so as you and your group are sorting these cards, not only by reliability, but by which claim, what you'll have at the end is a set of cards on one side and a set of cards on the other. Once you've come to a consensus, you can then record your cards under which claim and how reliable they are. So if you notice here, we have our cards if you need to reference them at any point. Um, but as you're going through, you'll notice that we have our reliability gradient from most reliable down to least reliable. You'll notice we have our claims, claim one and claim two. And then we have our list of resources with our evidence cards there. So as you're looking at this, hopefully you'll notice, well, that's getting annoying. That under each claim, you'll have your cards, but they're still in order of reliability. So for example, if I'm looking at this uh, student's answer, they think G goes with claim one along with E, H, and A. They think C, B, and F goes with claim two, and they haven't yet sorted evidence D. But also you'll notice you can see that evidence G is higher than C, meaning it's more reliable, even though it's under different claims. C is more reliable than B, B is more reliable than E and H, and so on. So we can not only see which ones it goes under in terms of the claim it supports, but how reliable it is compared to the evidence on both sides. So hopefully that makes sense. Take a second and answer our survey. Do you feel like you understand how to decide if the evidence supports the claim or not? And do you understand how to place the evidence in order of reliability under the claims? Place your X where it falls. If you have questions or place your X in yellow or red, please reach out. Otherwise, good luck.